matters how Manjaro's economic shift affects your bottom line. Hi friends, I'm Elizabeth, Countess of Shopping. I got my co-host, Mr. Freddie. We are doing a little bit of chitty chat today. I am so excited. I got one of the best articles, and I'll link it down below, uh, from an economic standpoint about Manjaro, uh, ZepBound, Wegovi, the GLP-1 medications that are rocking the nation. And this is one of the best articles I've read in a while about how GLP-1 weight loss drugs are changing the U.S. economy. It's actually fascinating. Uh, as an economist daughter, I nerd out over these things, but if you're not an economist super freak like I am, and maybe you're just interested in like, okay, what's the bottom line for my pocketbook? And I've got that. You're gonna wanna make sure you stay till the end on that. So literally in this article, it talks about how the US GDP could grow by an extra 1% um, if 60 million Americans took GLP-1 drugs. It mentions in this article about how 40% of US is obese. Have I been sitting under a rock? I didn't realize it was that much. I'm like, dang, that's a lot of people. I checked that box of being morbidly obese and then what is it, like moderately obese? I gotta go look at my uh, thing to see if I'm still obese or if I've moved to the overweight category, having lost over 80 pounds with Manjaro weight loss and Zepbound weight loss. And so tying in this article, I'm gonna keep referring over to it because it's so many details of literally how this is changing our money from GLP-1 drugs. Um, which hello, we have a stake in. So it's talking here about how it talks about how it's gonna help our health and um, it talks in here also, and this was one of the most fascinating things that obese people have 3% less productivity than non-obese people. And because of like related illnesses and things like that on average. On average, there's some superstars like myself, hello, I'm like highly productive, way more productive than probably most people are. But on average, it was talking in this article about how there's a 3% less output production from obese people, basically, is what this article is saying. And so in there with GLP-1 medications, you have people who are not obese anymore or becoming just just overweight or moving into the healthier weight range category. What that means for productivity for the US is number one. I found that fascinating. As a productivity nerd, I found that absolutely fascinating. Tip number one is the productivity component. Number two, in this article, it goes on to talk about a study was released in August of 2023. This article came out in February, 2024. I'm talking about how patients who took Wegovy for weight loss reduced their risk of heart attack, strokes, and cardiovascular deaths by 20%, which we know that makes sense. That clocks, right? Like that just makes smart sense. If you are losing weight, you're going to be more apt to not die. <laughs> and so from things that we know that fatness causes, like strokes, heart attack, and cardio cardiovascular diseases. So with that, obviously, like that's amazing, fabulous news. It means people are going to be around longer and be healthier. And uh, we're going to put heart doctors out of business. No, I'm just kidding. Just, just, don't, don't you heart doctors worry. You won't be put out of business. Um, with the obesity rate here that was talking about, tens of millions of Americans could be prescribed GLP-1s over the next few years. Obviously, right now, when I'm filming this article, that that is not economically feasible for a lot of people. Is this dog, he's like pacing. He's, a, he's nervous. He gets very finicky sometimes with his anxiety. He's anxious right now. So with, not everybody has financial access to these, either their insurance isn't covering it, or I mean, it's a hefty price point if you don't have the savings card and just regular out of pocket, it's a thousand to $1,200 per month. That is for four pens. That is for four weeks, like which is bananas. Um, which we have talked about compounds. If you want my favorite compound pharmacy as of right now, Mr. Freddy's in trouble. Favorite compound pharmacy, which I'm actually switching to because of the Manjaro shortage and because of the cyber hack uh, card glitch. I love name brands. Manjaro and Zepbound are amazing for my health, for my blood panel, for my blood work, and for my overall wellness. Um, but I cannot not have my medication for like right now, the pharmacist is saying at least four to five weeks because of the Manjaro shortage, which I've done other videos on. So make sure you click that like and subscribe button so you can see those other videos. So with that, it's talking about in this article, it goes on to say because of the productivity thing, um, that there's gonna be more productivity. So what can we put out with our US economy when people are more productive because they're not as tired from being obese? It's saying it can be anywhere from, um, the GDP growth can access its current trend between anywhere 0.6% to 3.2%, which is huge. <laughs> this is huge, 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 huge. So then it goes in on the article and it's like, it's blowing my mind about the, the financial component of this too, of 
how it's helping our economy. It's changing so many things. We've also heard that Nestle's, for example, several months back, was talking about packaging sizes. Literally, food manufacturers are changing the way they're going to package food because of GLP-1 people like myself and like you watching this video. And if you haven't started your medication, make sure you get my Manjaro Weight Loss Success Checklist and ZetBound Weight Loss Success Checklist down, linked down in the description. And so with, with all of these changes, it's fascinating to see in the next one year, two year, five year, 10 year, what's going to happen with our economy, with healthcare in general, but also just for example, just, just for example, for clothing. I talked about in my um, free Manjaro weight loss group, and if you're on Wegovi or ZetBound, all are welcome at that table. It's linked down below with thousands of people in that group. We're talking about sports bras <laughs> from working out, right? Like I was not able to bounce around previously. And so now that I can bounce around, uh, what were my sports bra options? And I was reviewing some of my favorite ones. I'll link them down in the description link below. Um, there happened to be one that was on sale. I'm like, oh my gosh, stock up on these sports bras. Um, but even like clothing wear like that, right? Or even plus size clothing. I'm actually still, while I'm down five pant sizes, still technically considered plus size. It will be interesting how fashions also switch with this too. Um, Cause we know that people who are not obese, not type two diabetes, type two diabetics, are taking GLP ones. We know that, and there's no from me. I don't know about y'all, but from as for my house, um, we're not going to be judgmental towards those people because I'm not in their skin and I'm not in their body, and I haven't talked with their healthcare provider. That's between them and their healthcare provider. So if you are one of those judgy people, take a seat. So with that, if you were people who are skinny, air quote, but their sizes are also going to change too. So thing like it's fascinating to me if there is. Um, 40% of the population, which is tens of millions of people who are obese, and how over the next few years get on GLP-1s potentially, which we're assuming they are, because it's, there's amazing things. There's also some really serious side effects. So if you are researching this medication, no talk to your healthcare provider about some potentially really gnarly stuff like pancreatitis, appendicitis, and things like that. There's a family cancer, a thyroid cancer, it's a family genetic one. So talk to your healthcare provider about that because I am not one, nor do I pretend to play one on the internet. This is simply my experience, strength, and hope of having been on Manjaro for the last 14 months. But I find it fascinating that the financial component of this, of how it's literally going through, if you look at the different industries, it is changing them financially, uh, food-wise, so that Nestle's, um, talking about how they're repack, I had mentioned this earlier, but repackaging different things that's not just for like sweets or if you're, for me, Nestle, I think of like hot cocoa and chocolates and like little snacky things. Do they do the Keebler elves? Is that Nestle? Forgive me little Keebler elves. I used to love your cookies as a child. Um, but packaging for snacky type foods, that is changing because our portion size used to be like this and now they're like this. And so changing those portion sizes as well with food, in addition, not just to healthcare or the way that we're doing even telemedicine. Um, you guys know I love Join Fridays. Use the code QUEEN, all in capital letters, to, to Join Fridays as well. They've been my healthcare provider for a while. And doing online appointments with them, I can do a video chat or I can do not a video chat. I can do, I have the option to pick both because their level of customer service is incredible. And changing the way that we do healthcare, telemedicine is fascinating to me. I mean, it's fascinating. Like I get my, it blows my mind. I'm like, okay, well, how do I do my blood work? They're like, go to Quest Diagnostics, which was all electronic, except for the person who, the phlebotomist who was taking my blood. And it will get sent back to me. And it was all like digital. It was amazing, by the way. <laughs> Having been to my primary care doctor, which God bless, I love them. Um, they're helpful with like cold, flu, things like that. But like doing GLP-1 medication or chronic obesity management or type 2 diabetes management is just not my jam. And um, having this telemedicine thing is so, going back to the productivity, I am a productivity nerd, way more productive and well worth the price point to not have to spend my time in a sniffling sick doctor's office um, where I can do it all electronically except for my blood work and then once I get my blood work join Fridays reads it and then um it's fascinating to me so let's go back over to the topic at hand about the money back over to this article it was from Goldman Sachs by the way is the one who created this that I read off Business Insider and then now also saloon.com I don't know how I get a Google alerts and that was the one who wrote about this, but Goldman Sachs was predicting anywhere between 10 million to 70 million Americans will be taking weight loss drugs, GLP-1 medications 
by 2028, which is in four years. That's crazy. And it's also talking about the GDP on there. This dog is trying to eat my homework, literally. I have one of my clients I was working over there on marketing stuff. He's like trying to eat it. Speaking of uh, economic concerns, um, going back over in this Goldman Sachs um, information that has come out at the end of February 2024 about we see meaning, meaningful upside from healthcare innovation is poor health imposes significant economic costs. So really bad health makes a lot of expenses and bad for the economy. Um, good health is going to help the economy and uh, be more productive with that, which is amazing, by the way. Um, oh my gosh, then this article goes on to talk about Kate Middleton's health things, which I'm not commenting on. I don't want to talk about her health and why she knew well to talk about her health. Um, talk about your own health. So anyways, it's fascinating with where we are going and what, and speaking of where we are going, also in the other news alert that I got, there was an update on clinical trials. Now, when we talk about clinical trials, it sounds like from what I'm reading, and correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, um, with res respect, I love to be corrected. Like, I don't mind that at all. Please correct me in a loving, kind way, though, not in like a mean way. Um, but it looks like with there is Viking weight loss drug is targeting Ozempic and Manjaro. Speaking of the future, it looks like it's Viking is making some some headway here. In this article, it's talking about, and I'll cite my sources down below as always. Per the huge, you guys know we're science based here at Countess of Shopping. Um, I love me some Jesus and I love me some science, and so I want to make sure I'm giving you the proper scientific information with this. Viking is a San Diego-based San Diego biotech. So it's a U.S.-based company. It's not a foreign company. I know some of you guys had asked about this. But they have been testing out clinical trials for conditions including obesity, fatty liver disease, and a rare genetic condition. And so they're a mid-stage trial for one drug is VK2735. It's showing participants loss on average nearly 15% of their body weight after weekly injections for 13 weeks. Weeks. The results, a loss around 13% more of a placebo arm in the 176 person trial, suggests that these drugs outperform existing treatments like Eli Lilly's Terzeptide and Nova Nordis semaglutide medications like Zepbound, Wegovy, Manjaro. Um, Manjaro and Ozempic tree type 2 by diabetes, which we know. So, it's fascinating testing these. It's an oral version of it. So you're taking a pill with it. Now, we had seen some other oral ones that they had to stop doing clinical trials. My guess, and I don't know. Again, I always like to punt back when things are my opinion versus like scientific or factually based. My opinion is it stopped the other previous oral one because of the side effects. If it was outpacing Manjaro, and we know that Manjaro and Zepbound go as high as 15 milligrams, and because there's gastrointestinal things that come with it, and like last night I was nauseous. I'm like, that's totally because of GLP-1 medication. So my guess is that other oral medication, the other GLP-1 that was in clinical trials was because of gastrointestinal issues. Just a hunch. I could be wrong, but like, can you just imagine if the dose is more than 15 milligrams, like either the blowout of the diarrhea, the nausea of that, like the, like seasick on a boat or um, the constipation that comes with that. I mean, that is a long tree branch. So <laughs> I'm wondering, it's just a hunch. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, make it, half making a joke, but half being for real, like the gastrointestinal issues, I would imagine would be pretty strong on those uh, with those GLP-1. Also announced today in terms of GLP-1 news, um, and I'm filming this today at the end of February, 2024, that Eli Lilly, the manufacturer of Manjaro and Zetbound, could launch obesity drug in India next year, says the CEO of Eli Lilly, which is fascinating to me because we cannot keep up with a shortage here in the US, literally five to six weeks to try to get my Manjaro 15 milligrams in a 45 mile radius too, which is near Northern Virginia, which is right outside of Washington, DC, which is a heavy, heavily metropolitan area. Like it's not anywhere. And then you go over the uh, Appalachian Mountains, which is where I live, it's nowhere to be found. So I find it interesting that they're like, oh, we're gonna be launching in India next year. I'm like, I bet, I bet they're making a ton of money going back to the money component of it. But thinking of money, this is one I told you to stay till the end. So if you've made it this far, this is where it, it gets good. I want you to also think about your pocketbook of how much money you have saved. For me, it's thousands. Um, straight out of the gate, grocery bill. I eat significantly less. I actually, <laughs> I don't know, just talking about this, um, which by the way, the count, I have to give him credit. He's the one who sent me this article and I was like, you should talk about it with the counts and countesses. Isn't that so sweet? Thanks count. But 
our grocery bill has decreased, but the quality of food in which I eat has increased, which was interesting. Like, it's interesting to me, like this shift that I've had. So going back to shifts in the, the marketplace, like, have you guys had that? Tell me in the comments below. Has your grocery bill decreased? Mine has, but the quality of food has increased. So kind of my grocery bill is somewhat evening out, but using things like Home Chef Delivery, HelloFresh, I'll link down below my discount codes for them too, because they have proteins and vegetables and I focus in on a protein um, diet with, with nutrients and vegetables, like fresh vegetables, fresh fruits. And fresh also meaning like frozen broccoli, like vegetables, nutrient dense foods. That shift though of my finances have changed, right? Um, my husband and I, our big thing for our budget this year was education and health. It fell into those two buckets for most of our expenses this year. We cut out a lot of superfluous stuff. And when I started taking Manjaro uh, and paying out of pocket for it, the accountant and I made a lot of financial changes because I'm like, I'm going to be on this probably for the rest of my life. I have no intention of getting off of it. I'm not one of those people that's going to bounce on and bounce off. I don't think so. That's for me. I know there's other amazing counts and countesses in our community. They're like, I do have intentions to get off. We're seeing the studies of how not good that is though, because of people gain back all of the weight they lose. But I have lots of people in my free group, my Manjaro weight loss group and Zetbound weight loss group and Wegovi weight loss group in the description link below who have gone off it for months and months and months and not gained back any of the weight. So to, this is what I'm saying, to each their own and touch your own healthcare provider because there's so many different nuances with all of this with our different health situations. But going back over to the finance component of it, we changed because that is our, where our priorities are, our education and health. Like it doesn't matter if I am sick or my husband's are sick or my kid's sick or we're not being well educated, like continuing to get better and better and better. So that for us was really, really important. So our finances have correspondingly go into those buckets. That's important for us. That's really where like putting physical, physically and literally like our money where our mouth is <laughs> with that. But I'm like, we took way more bodacious vacations, which we are not this year. Like we're going through, I'm like, I really want to do some really cool trips and I love to travel. And I just don't think that's going to happen this year. And I, because I'd rather invest it in with Manjaro and GLP-1 and um, with my medication. And, <clears throat> and also that's a component too, with this uh, shortage going on and with the cyber attack on the savings cards. I mean, it's ridiculous. And the price point is ridiculous. And we've talked about this ad nauseum, but um yeah, we've talked about this ad nauseum, but I do think that it's interesting, the financial component of all of these things associated with it. Sweet friends, sweet friends, tell me in the comments your thoughts. I'm super curious. The count and I have been talking about this. I would love to know your opinion too. Um, and in our free group, I'll start up a thread there as well. I know some of you guys don't like commenting here on Facebook or Facebook on Insta, YouTube. Can I get my right platforms? Which you can find Countess of Shopping or I'm Elizabeth Skordinsky on both. Um, my Elizabeth Skordinsky TikTok, I've been posting a lot over there recently. I don't know why. I just have felt inspired. So Mr. Freddy's sleeping. I'm going to go upstairs. Um, but I've, I, the, as we go through, I know some of you guys are going to have some great comments. So check out the comments below. If you've made it this far in the video, we do a little thing here at Countess of Shopping where you put an emoji down below. Um, and I will pray over you. It also helps uh, if you don't believe in prayer, I will uplift you in positive thought. If you don't want that, it also, you can just put down below, the emoji is gonna be a bird. Um, it will signal to me that you've made it this far in the video and uh, it helps for me, most importantly, to get to know you better. YouTube has been weird. If the comments are off, I have not turned them off. I've not turned them off for any of my videos. It's, there is a glitch going on and I think it may be because I'm so like, asking you to give me a response so I don't know if YouTube is like naughty naughty don't do that I don't know so we'll see if for some reason you don't have the comments on this video it's not because I've turned them off and please tell me in the free private group, Facebook group if that's the case it drives me nuts because I'll try to turn it back on I've had to do that with one video seven times and I think the comments are finally on for that video but my sweet friends be kind to yourself be kind to others I'm Countess of Shopping count my blessings because life is delicious gird your pocketbooks friends